Thanks for joining. Today we're in Harrison Hot Springs. Harrison is known as the Sasquatch capital of Canada. Today we'll be exploring Harrison, looking for signs of Sasquatch at the Harrison Museum and other sites throughout the town. Let's go and explore. Harrison's close by to Ruby Creek, which is home of the Ruby Creek incident we did a video on not too long ago. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in more about that. The Harrison Sasquatch Museum is located inside the Visitor Center and houses a collection of exhibits and artifacts. Here's a cast of the Sasquatch footprint that started it all. This was made after Roger Pattison filmed his famous Bigfoot video in October 1967 in the Bluff Creek Sandbar. The subject left a series of nine long foot impressions which were cast by a Canadian taxidermist for preservation. The cast is 14 and a half inches long and six inches wide. This exhibit shows one possible theory for the origins of Sasquatch. It compares a regular human skull to that of a mountain gorilla to a reconstructed skull of a possible ancestor, the giant Apithecus blackie. This giant primate existed in China over half a million years ago. This skull was reconstructed using fossilized jawbone and teeth found in the China and India area. This is a skeletal reconstruction of the Bosberg cripple foot casts. They were reconstructed by Dr. Grover Krantz professor of anthropology at Washington State University from a series of footprint impressions that came from a crippled Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Dr. Krantz deconstructed the skeletal structure by studying the difference between the crippled foot in comparison to that of a normal foot. This is a map of Sasquatch sightings in the area. I'm actually surprised at how many there have been. I didn't realize that there were that many reported sightings. We're right in this area here, and you can see even here there's a cluster of sightings, some of them quite recent in the 2000s. These casts belong to the Grays Harbor Harryford Bigfoot, which was seen on April 22, 1982. These tracks were collected by Deputy Dennis Harryford of the Grays Harbor County Sheriff's Department in Washington State. The tracks are regarded by some as the best Bigfoot casts ever made, due to the credibility of the officer involved and the mushrooming of the toes, which is difficult to hoax. The tracks also feature texturing and bulging, which demonstrates that these were made by live feet, not by wooden fakes. This is a cast of the Terrace Sasquatch, made in 1974. Two friends discovered these footprints. They went back into town and picked up some plaster and a camera and made these casts. They searched for the creature, but it was never seen. This Chilliwack River foot cast was made in August 1986. While passing through Chilliwack, Thomas Steenberg heard about a sighting near the Chilliwack River. When Thomas arrived at the campsite, he interviewed an American couple who made the sighting. The pair had been fishing and at some point during the day saw an eight foot tall man-like hairy creature removing trout from their cache. Thomas investigated and was able to pick up the creature's scent in a creek bed where he extracted two good foot impressions from the soft earth. Unfortunately, the first cast wasn't left long enough to set, but he was more successful with the second cast, which is seen here. Sasquatch has always been an important figure to the indigenous peoples of British Columbia, including the local Staelis community. Back in the gift shop, you'll find this rather cuddly life-size version of Squatch. And you can collect these stuffies of the whole Squatch family. Along with other Sasquatch-themed art and souvenirs. Throughout the community, you'll find lots of different Sasquatch-themed artwork. Even Sasquatch encourages social distancing. Although not life-size, this statue of Sasquatch sits near the lake's edge.
this indigenous art representation of Sasquatch, which overlooks the Harrison Lake, is the emblem of the locals to Ailis people. And looking north, you can see the dense forest that surrounds the lake. Lots of untouched wilderness for a Sasquatch to hide. Thanks for joining us today to explore the Sasquatch capital of Canada. I was a bit surprised by how many sightings there actually were in this area, including some fairly recent ones. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our latest adventures and check out our interactive map to see all the cool locations we've already been to. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.